Hey everyone, it's Morph here. Today, we're going to be looking at and discussing Generation 4's fossils. This series will focus on the origins and meanings of the different fossils, and they'll be divided into different videos explaining them in depth. I'll teach you about the meanings of their names, resemblance to real life creatures, and their fossils. So without further ado, here are the Pokemon fossils and their origins. This episode, we take a look at Sinnoh Generation 4. With Sinnoh, we are given two unique fossil lines. First up, we'll be focusing on the Skull Evolution line, Kranidos and Rampardos. Kranidos, the Headbutt Pokemon. Kranidos is the first evolution in the Skull line, and is based on some pretty interesting dinosaurs. Kranidos may have been based on the Pachycephalosaurus, a dinosaur about the size of an adult with a protruding thick skull. They used to use their thick heads to headbutt each other head on, although some evidence has been uncovered to show that the Pachycephalosauruses may not have used their heads in head-to-head -head combat. The other dinosaur that Kranidos may be based off is the Micropachycephalosaurus, which is basically a smaller version of the Pachy, but without the thick skull. Funnily enough, its name is one of the longest dinosaur names out there. Kranidos' name comes from Cranium, and the os part comes from the neuter Latin word os, meaning bone. At level 30, Kranidos evolves into Rampardos, and quite a lot of features are kept, so there's not much to talk about. Rampardos is also based on the Apache, but its heads and spike bear resemblance to Stygimiloc and Draco Rex. Rampardos' name is thought to have come from the words Rampart, meaning defensive wall, Ram, and Rampage. Moving on from the hard-headed Pokemon, we have, uh, more hard-headed Pokemon? Okay. Shieldon use their heads as shields instead of weapons like Kranidos does. Their shielded heads gives them surprisingly good defense stats, and Shieldon are possibly based off of the Ceratopsia. You may be most familiar with the Triceratops, which is part of that classification. To be more specific, Shieldon are more likely to be based on the small Protoceratops. One difference though is that Ceratopses might have not been able to use their frills as defenses, like Shieldon does, as they were used for dominance and attraction. Shieldon's name is a combination of shield and don, which roots mean tooth in Greek. I'll admit it, Bastion is just darn cool. Its head resembles a castle, or the crest of a chasmosaurus. According to the Pokédex, Bastiodon's heads are almost unbreakable, but their backs are left vulnerable with very little armor. This trait is similar to Bastion from the Overwatch series, although Overwatch technically did come after this Pokemon did. Bastion's name comes from Bastion, which is a protruding structure in walls or defenses, used to allow defensive fire outwards. It also comes from Bastille, which was a fortress in Paris. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video but haven't seen the others in the series, go check them out. You'll enjoy them. And as usual, let me know if you did or didn't enjoy this video. Here's a quick fun fact. I actually made these Pokemon in LEGO a while back, so if you're interested in that sort of stuff, uh, click on the link in the description. Cheers and see you next time.